the storm system will be lifting up from the southwest and then moving off the coast overnight tonight. There's also really strong winds in the upper levels that combine with this system will help to produce this burst of snow as we get into the overnight period. So let's take a look at predictor, show you what you can expect. You can see the snow coming in possibly after 7 o'clock. It may take a little while for it to get going just because the air is so dry. Once it does, it'll become more widespread, picking up and then continuing into the overnight period. It does look like it moves out of here, though, as I mentioned, by lunchtime. And then the skies will clear. And even though we have sunshine on Wednesday, it is going to be noticeably colder. Winter weather advisories go into effect at 5 o'clock this afternoon and will continue until noontime tomorrow. And that's for the entire area. And snow amounts anywhere from, I would say, generally 2 to 4 inches. Don't focus on that 5-inch mark. That is a very isolated chance. And that may happen in some of our eastern and southeastern areas. But a majority of the area will be between 2 and and four inches. Here's your 10 day forecast. Wednesday, we've got highs uh, in the upper 20s, overnight lows in the teens, and it's going to be a little on the breezy side, but any breeze will make it feel like it's in the teens on Wednesday in the afternoon. Thursday, increasing clouds, highs hovering right around the freezing mark. We'll watch for this next storm system to bring us snow. Looks like could bring us a couple of inches, but we'll keep you posted. But what one thing is going to happen in the wake of that system is going to turn blustery and quite cold over the weekend. 26 for the high on Saturday, 32 on Sunday. And look at the turnaround in temperatures next week. We're back into the 40s with rain chances midweek.